How's it going, folks? Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. We are talking about iOS 18.2 Developer Beta 4. And in this beta, not a whole lot of changes. You can see build number 22C5142A for those keeping score at home. But there are some changes here. For instance, you get smaller male contact photos. So these little photos right here, or in this case, a little glyph, is slightly smaller in iOS 18.2 Beta 4 but you'll also notice the rounded corners as well. Previously, it had squared off corners. Now, if you wanna know how to enable those contact photos or disable, all you need to do is go into mail settings, and then you will see right here, show, where is it? Right, right there, there we go. Show contact photos. So if you turn that off, you can see what happens, they go away. But I do like that. Uh, it's a feature that we haven't had in the mail app up until now and it's nice to have it can help you to identify who's sending that email the next change you'll notice is an updated customized notification settings in mail so if you go to mail notification settings you'll see this new heading at the top previously that was not there so you can see it says choose to see only the number of unread messages categorized as primary or all unread messages for every inbox so Basically, the text description has been updated a little bit for this. And of course, you got that new heading. But basically, you can make it so that only badges will display for unread messages in primary. And Apple continues to lay the groundwork to set a default contactless payment app. So if you go to apps, you'll see default apps at the top. And this is, of course, in settings. But here you'll see contactless app. So of course, by default, that's always been the wallet app. When you double press the side button to pay using Apple Pay, it would open up the wallet, right? Well, in the near future, you'll be able to use an alternative contactless app. So the idea is that it'll work just like you use Apple Pay today. So when you double press on the side button, it opens up the wallet app. You can choose your card and pay using that card. So in the future, you'll be able to set a different app for that. Now the previous betas have already had messages where you could go in and change the default app, but now that feature is also available directly in the messages settings. So basically just an alternative way to get to that setting to set the default messages app. And that's sort of the theme of this beta update, just redundant placement of settings so you can access them from multiple areas. You'll also find the sensitive content warning for messages in the messages settings. So you can actually turn this on for messages. So this will detect inappropriate photos and videos before they are viewed on your phone. But again, the theme redundancy, because this setting already existed in the settings app, privacy and security, and then sensitive content warning. And again, the same theme here for search engines, you can set the default search engine but you're not gonna find that under apps in default apps. See, there's no search engine setting here. Of course, you can set the default browser app if you wish to do that. But for setting the search, that's always been under Safari settings. So if you go to Safari settings, you'll see search engine and you can customize it there. But what's new is the fact that this setting is also under the settings app, search. So if you just tap on search, you'll see now search engine right there, and you can go there as well to customize the default search engine. Now there is a new app installation section in settings apps, but this only appears apparently if you have developer mode enabled because it's more uh, for the EU in managing various uh, third-party app stores, if you will but you'll find that app installation and it has some of the things, same things that you'll find under app store, like automatic downloads and things of that nature. But what you'll find here is the allow for web installation section here at the bottom. And that pertains to third party uh, marketplaces like the alt store and like the Epic game store. So that's where you'll find that if you have developer mode enabled. Now, of course you could already access your things like automatic downloads within the app store settings as well. So if you just go to settings, apps, app store, you'll see automatic downloads here. And of course you can turn that on or off from there as well. So if you own an iPhone 16, of course you have the camera control button, which allows you to quickly access the camera app or any app that you have set as a shortcut for the camera right here. So, but what's new here in 18.2 beta four is 
having access to the accessibility settings directly from the camera control preferences. And basically this allows you to adjust the click speed settings for the camera control button uh, and really just get some of the real granular settings for how you interact with that. But you can also find that under accessibility camera control as well. So now you have another way to access it. Now here's a really interesting thing. The video scrubber in the photos app now shows milliseconds. See that? So two seconds, three seconds, but you see the milliseconds. And of course a millisecond is a thousandth of a second. So you can really get precise when it comes to scrubbing directly to the part of the video you want to get to. That's a pretty cool addition. Now another change that you're going to notice in the Photos app pertains to the previews that you get when you long press on a photo or video. Those previews now correspond to the aspect ratio of the photo or video so you avoid letterboxing. So compared to the previous beta, you would see black borders on this photo, which isn't exactly the nicest look. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at iOS 18.2 beta 4. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Thumbs up if you appreciate this video and also check out these videos too. This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac.